मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है कि आप अपने काम से आप अपने बुद्धि से आप अपने समझ से अपनी एक पहचान न्यायिक सेवा में बनाएंगे और आप लोग बहुत आगे जाएंगे एक साधारण व्यक्ति भी यदि बहुत तन्मयता से काम करे तो बहुत अच्छा कर सकता है तो आप अच्छा काम करेंगे तो मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है कि पूरे समाज का आपको वरिष्ठ अधिकारियों का और सभी का स्नेह और प्रेम मिलेगा Ambition Publications and Ambition Law Institute welcome our Honorable Chief Justice, Justice uh, Mr. Sanjay Karol, Justice Mr. Honorable Justice Mr. Asutosh Kumar, Honorable Justice Mr. Rajiv Ranjan, Honorable Justice Mr. Madhuresh Prasad, Honorable Justice Mr. Mohit Kumar Shah, and then Honorable Justice Mr. Partha Sarthi, and Honorable Justice Mr. Satwat Verma, and Honorable Justice Mr. Arun Kumar Jha. and other distinguished guests uh, and friends sitting here it's a great uh, privilege and moment of pleasure for me that uh, an ordinary student like me can write uh, a bare act and book it's my infant endeavor as an ordinary student but i have tried to serve the society through my writing i hope uh, that lordships will uh, look into that and will guide me further so that i can do better things in the future life as i said that it's moment of great pleasure for an ordinary man like me to stand here and to speak before lordships but uh, you will ask me a question why did you did this why did you write this bare act what was the reason behind this what was your vision behind this i have been teaching since uh, 2001 in delhi and while my teaching i realize that uh, at many moments in many lodges our brothers and sisters feel that they they are very complicated complex and they cannot be easily comprehensible or comprehended by ordinary people like us so i thought why not uh, let me have this privilege there are many bare acts and books so i chose this opportunity or rather i grabbed this opportunity because there are very many few publishers so i thought that it is uh, more required that i should write a bare act rather than writing a book there are many book authors and when i uh, met uh, honorable justice uh, mr asutosh kumar sir he is like uh, elder brother to me he asked me question tumne book likha ya bare act आई सेट थोड़ा बुक लिखने का भी सर प्रयास किया है मैंने सो आई हैव ट्राइड टू राइट अ बुक ऑल्सो एन आइडिया ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विच इज सिंपलेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल लॉ ऑफ इंडिया आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट माई लॉर्डशिप्स टू हैव ए लुक ऑन दैट एज वेल एंड टू गाइड मी फर्दर सो दैट आई कैन राइट इवन बेटर बट दैट हैज बिन रिटर्न विद ए पर्पज दैट इवन ए पर्सन हु डजेंट हैव एनी अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ लॉ कैन अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड आई हैव रिटर्न मेनी थिंग्स देयर which are hidden here and there why i wrote bare act many people and i am i am i am right now trying to write a book on muslim law which is a foreign territory i i will present that definitely i'll write very beautifully i am working very very hard on that i am trying to write this and i am trying to simplify that when we used to study in llb we used to find that section 27 evidence act we cannot understand 
we had problems in succession law we have problem in uh, inheritance of muslim law so that is why i have thought that we will write not only books on those subjects which are uh, not very easily understandable but we'll write some papers also on different topics which are in high demand right now i know that uh, many people are talking of poxo so we have uh, tried to publish a bare act on poxo also that is in final stage similarly we are doing many other works like we are writing papers on investigation bail women right child rights so we are now into this field as well we are not only in teaching we are into publication also now there is another question one of my friend asked me why you chose patna for this uh, because i belong to this state i have studied here also at bn college patna then i went to law faculty clc delhi university so i thought that uh, being the home state why not to do this here and uh, if i get uh, blessings of uh, honorable justices here and in their presence this thing is done it will be really now wonderful for me and when i stand here today i really feel privileged and i feel blessed that uh, all my elder justices are sitting here to bless me and to guide me and i have no words and i thank all of you also to come here we'll again have another uh, vote of thanks later on but first of all i will request uh, sweta to initiate further thank you sir thank you for your kind words now i would request uh, our respected alok ranjan sir to present memos to our dignitaries all my respected elder brothers all honorable judges of the patna high court present dignitaries here esteemed guests and the members of the ambition law publication and my dear friend alok ranjan uh, i am very thankful to you all for uh, are giving me an opportunity to address you by calling me here 
it's a big occasion for MBC Law Institute, uh, which has started its publications under the name of Ambition Publications. Francis Bacon once said, some books are to be tested, some books are to be chewed and digested. I hope these books are devoured to the full and ingressed and digested by you all. Alok, I congratulate you on this big occasion. Uh, so many honorable judges of the Patna High Court have assembled here and this shows the importance of the event. I hope many more such publications come from Ambition Law, Ambition Publications in future as well. Uh, I have no, uh, I have not uh, been fortunate to look into these books earlier and I hope uh, after the event I will be more wiser about these books. In any case, uh, what I have gathered from address of Mr. Alok Ranjan, uh, these are bare acts and one of the books is a, uh, appears to be a commentary on the constitutional law of India. I hope the exercise put in here by Mr. Alok Ranjan is appreciated by you all. Kudos to Mr. Alok Ranjan and I again congratulate him and I congratulate everyone present here and thank them as well. Thank you all. Thanks a lot. Now I will request uh, Honorable Chief Justice, Justice Sanjay Karol, to whom I am uh, really obliged that uh, he has come all the way from here now, from his office to this place, even after now being so busy and uh, perhaps he is invited somewhere today also, even then he extracted time and he came here to bless me. I am really humbled and privileged, sir. Sir, I will invite you to say few words to encourage us. Good evening, uh, all of you, ladies and gentlemen, my esteemed uh, colleagues on the dais. Honorable Mr. Justice Ashutosh Kumar, Honorable Mr. Justice Rajiv Ranjan Prashad, Honorable Mr. Justice Madhuresh Prashad, Honorable uh, Mr. Justice Mohit Kumar Shah, Honorable Mr. Justice Partha Sarthi, Honorable Mr. Justice Satyavat Verma, and Honorable Mr. Justice Arun Kumar Jha. To begin with, I must uh, compliment and thank and extend my good wishes to Mr. Alok uh, Ranjan, who is the director of the Ambition uh, Law Institute. Baat baat badhai, Mr. Alok Ranjan, aapko. Bada acha aapne kaam kiya. Teen saal pehle, jab mein Bihar mein aaya, to sabse pehle mainne khoj ki, ke Kotalya ka Arth Shastra jo hai, wo kisne likha? उसका क्या प्रमाण है किसने लिखा तो बहुत खोज की तो मुझे पता लगा कि वो उसका अनुवाद जो है वो अनफॉर्चुनेटली बिहार में नहीं हुआ वो मैसूर में हुआ कड़ी में ये जोड़ रहा हूं कि आज बिहार के लोग बिहार के बारे में जागरूक हो गए हैं और लिखना शुरू कर दिया ये बहुत बहुत अच्छी बात है और बधाई देता हूँ मैं आलोक रंजन जी को इसलिए ये भी साथ में उम्मीद करता हूँ इनसे कि यहाँ के जितने भी पुराने ग्रंथ हैं कानून को लेके बहुत बहुत लोगों ने लिखा है यहाँ पे चाहे वो शेरशाह सूरी की जस्टिस डिलीवरी सिस्टम हो चाहे वो अर्थशास्त्र में जो लिखा हो जस्टिस डिलीवरी सिस्टम को लेके न्याय प्रणाली कैसी होनी चाहिए किस तरीके से भारत को पूरे देश को एक 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 आइडिया दिया बिहार के लोगों ने तो उसी तरीके से मॉडर्न डे में मैं ऐसा समझता हूं कि आलोक जी ये काम करेंगे 
मुझे उम्मीद जी आलोक जी से इतनी भी उम्मीद है कि और बधाई भी देना चाहता हूँ कि यहाँ इनकी इंस्टीट्यूट के जो बच्चे हैं वो केवल इसलिए नहीं पढ़ रहे हैं इस इंस्टीट्यूट में बहुत सी इंस्टीट्यूट्स हैं जहाँ पे वो एक सिलेबस को क्रैम करके या पढ़ के कहीं ना कहीं किसी एग्जामिनेशन में सफलता पाएंगे लेकिन यहाँ पे सबसे बड़ी बात ये है इनके इंस्टीट्यूट में जैसा मुझे ज्ञान हुआ राज राजीव रंजन प्रसाद जी से कि इन्होंने एक मिशन ये ली है साथ में है कि किस तरीके से हमारा जो यूथ है उसको चैनलाइज करना है और उसकी जो एनर्जीज हैं वो देश को आगे ले जाने में देश का अच्छा नागरिक बनने में ये साथ साथ इन्होंने ये मिशन अपने संकल्प लिया है उसके लिए बहुत बहुत बधाई के पात्र हैं आप आलोक जी आई ऑल्सो कॉम्प्लीमेंट दोज हु हैव बीन अंडरटेकिंग ट्रेनिंग इन दिस इंस्टीट्यूट एंड आई अंडरस्टैंड सम ऑफ देम आर आवर कोलीग्स इन द जस्टिस डिलीवरी सिस्टम ऑफ बिहार एंड दे हैव डन वंडर्स आई एम ऑल्सो प्राउड ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट Uh, what uh, is being done here with these birds i again thank uh, uh, mr uh, the organizers of this uh, program and wish them great great success in future and i also thank my brothers for their valuable time thank you very much thank you sir thank you lot sir for your uh, encouragement i hope these words will really now energize us to do better and better Uh, we are new to this uh, field of writing and uh, writing bare acts and books and uh, doing some research work we are trying our level best and we want your lordships uh, uh, kind attention on my book and uh, real lessons for me and criticism for me that where i am doing wrong uh, and where i can improve upon uh, honorable justice uh, sri ashutosh kumar sir to come and bless us at least by few words sir highly obliged you see when i when i got this invite uh, of uh, launch of uh, the bear acts and uh, a book on constitution two things struck me it was a very pleasant note that struck my mind one the name of the institute called ambition now ambition is something which uh, everybody should have and the second the head office of this institute which is in mukherjee nagar it uh, brings lot of pleasant memories because uh, all the students of delhi university must have visited mukherjee nagar once in a life or every day perhaps so that was the place where we all nurtured our ambition now ambition uh, see i'll be as brief as possible ambition you see is uh, acquired ambition is given shape by acquiring knowledge now how do you acquire knowledge by reading books there could be no other better window than books and uh, the attempt of alok to write uh, bear acts that uh, is something really great was uh, i can i don't know the audience i mean i can see some familiar faces and uh, i can see some budding lawyers students so there is always a misnomer in the mind of young lawyers that if you if you go for commentaries perhaps the judge would get impressed but that's that's a great misnomer now when we were lawyers the first tendency was to pick up a commentary and speak from that commentary before a judge or uh, that uh, should be avoided bear act is something it's bare to the bones the name itself would suggest it's bear act and as i flip through the pages of the idea on constitution i found that uh, it contained uh, most of the decisions of the supreme court which have been rendered only lately Uh, over burning issues like uh, mm, the the collegium system and uh, and uh, uh, right to privacy and other rights the ever expanding you know frontiers of decision making so uh, what what uh, makes me feel very happy i'm i'm rushing through because the all of us have to go uh, mm, is that uh, uh, instead of choosing a place like delhi to have this launch you have come to patna so we give you all our all our support my blessings to all of you and i 
personally believe that if you go through bare acts and if you read between the lines of the bare act, perhaps you'd do a better, uh, you'd, uh, you'd do better as a lawyer, as a, as a student, as an examinee, and you'll find that uh, no commentary would be better than your own understanding of the law when you go through the bare acts. So, uh, I would end this talk by saying that, uh, you see, you should have that quest in you, and therefore the name ambition. Ambition to, to do well in life, ambition to write more, ambition to learn more. Now, this is what Steve Jobs once said, and you all of you must have uh, heard his speech, the best speech ever given. So, he ends his talk by saying that you remain hungry, you, you remain foolish. Now, what he meant by this, you remain hungry so that you earn more money to get you more food of various kinds. So, therefore, you, you have to do well in your business, in your vocation. And stay foolish is to keep your minds open. The window to your mind should be open unless if the moment you get a feeling that you know everything, perhaps you, will, uh, you close everything for you. So, this is, uh, this is uh, what I will also repeat. Uh, you don't need to be as successful as Steve Jobs to advise people because uh, as, I, as I always tell my friends that if you, if you are appreciating Lata Mangeshkar, you need not be a good singer yourself. So this is what Steve Jobs told you and uh, this is what I am repeating that you stay foolish, stay hungry. Thank you. Now I will request uh, Honorable Mr. Justice Rajiv Ranjan Prasad, sir, to say a few words to really encourage us. Honorable the Chief Justice, Mr. Justice Sanjay Karol, my brother, Honorable Mr. Justice Astosh Kumar, Justice Maduresh Prasad, Justice Mohit Kumar Shah, Justice Parth Sarthi, Justice Satvrat Barma, and Brother Justice Arun Kumar Jha. Ladies and gentlemen present in this house, first of all, I would thank my Chief Justice who has been kind enough to give us an opportunity to gather here. When Alok came to me, and uh, when he came to me, he said that I do not know anyone at Patna. But I want that because it is my home state. So I should do something at Patna now in the state of Bihar. And for that reason I have come to you that I have written some books. If my books may be released here by you, then I uh, will be very happy. I said, you have come to request me to release the books. But uh, why not uh, I request Honorable the Chief Justice? If Honorable Chief Justice gives us some time, it will be more encouraging not only for you, but even the people who will come there. And then I promised him that I will talk to Honorable the Chief Justice. I cannot assure you whether his Lordship will give time or not. But I will definitely take an effort to request Honorable the Chief Justice. I did so. And uh, as usual, it's not an exaggeration, believe me. As usual, the Honorable Chief Justice is always there for us. His Lordship gave immediate consent and told me that Alok is not required to come. I have given you consent, that's enough. He is not required to come to invite me. That is how we rate a great judge in our Chief Justice. Now, on this occasion, while encouraging Alok to write more and more books. I believe that henceforth the stage is already set. His books have been released. We all have assembled here. My learned brothers have come on a very short notice. 
Brother Asutosh was at Delhi when I gave him a call to request him and uh, immediately while he was in conference, he said that once you told, my consent is there. And that is how all of my brothers to whom I talked accepted it. So Alok, now the stage is set. You start, you are in the field of knowledge. हम लोगों के यहाँ एक कहते हैं बिल्कुल जो ले मैन होते हैं वो कहते हैं कि साहब सारी संपत्ति चोरी हो सकती है लेकिन जो आपका ज्ञान है वो कोई नहीं ले जा सकता है तो आपके अंदर वो ज्ञान है आपने पिछले 21-22 वर्षों में जो सेवा दिया है शिक्षा के क्षेत्र में तो और आप आगे ले जाए हमारे स्टेट में इसकी जरूरत है और आप दिल्ली के साथ साथ अब अपने स्टेट में भी थोड़ा समय दें यहाँ के बच्चों को भी जरूरत है बहुत खुशी हुई आपसे ये जान करके कि आपके बच्चे जो हैं वो हमारे यहाँ बिहार जुडिशियल सर्विस में भी एंड सुपीरियर जुडिशियल सर्विस में भी काफ़ी लोगों ने कम्पीट किया है इन पास्ट ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट बैच में भी कम्पीट किया है तो ये बड़ी खुशी की बात है तो आपसे हमारा आग्रह भी होगा कि आप यहाँ बिहार में इसका अपनी सेवा का जो है विस्तार करें और शिक्षा दें और साथ साथ एक चीज़ और कहूँगा कि आप जो शिक्षा दें उसको ऐसा बनाएं कि जिसमें कम पैसे वाले जो बच्चे हैं वैसे बच्चे जो मेहनती हैं लेकिन जिनके पास इतने पैसा नहीं है जिनके माँ बाप के पास इतना पैसा नहीं है कि वो आपको दे सकें उनके लिए भी आप सोचिए हो सके तो उनके लिए भी आप कुछ जगह बनाइए कुछ सीटें ऐसी रखिए जिसमें आप उन बच्चों को कुछ स्कॉलरशिप दे करके कुछ उनके फी की राशि माफ करके इस तरह से आप उनको आगे बढ़ने में मदद कर सकें अगर आप ऐसा कर सके तो ये बहुत बड़ी समाज सेवा होगी और आने वाले समय में जब आप इस धरती पर नहीं होंगे तब भी लोग आपको याद रखेंगे धन्यवाद सर फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड्स एंड आई थिंक योर एडवाइस इज ऑर्डर फॉर मी and uh, we'll definitely try to give low cost or no cost education to all needy persons and one of the region of writing bear act was this that what we cannot uh, do in classes because classes have certain limitations we can do in bear acts and it is easily available at very low cost but definitely now education should be given at uh, low cost or no cost especially in the state of bihar because there are many needy students who need teacher like us and uh, we are working upon that and we are online classes and uh, i have uh, planned that on uh, the occasion of my birthday i will open a free class in hindi for law student online for entire india for entire india and it will be no cost education and i promise you sir with your guidance will give the best education i don't know before seniors i am floundering uh, i am doing some mistakes uh, but uh, in teaching i have little bit uh, command and i know that will do wonders with your blessings there i am highly obliged that uh, honorable justice uh, mr rajiv prasand ranjan prasad sir has come here and has guided us now i will request honorable mr justice madhuresh prasad to say few words and when i went to invite him he was really now uh, encouraged he, he encouraged me a lot and uh, he say kind words that you are doing wonderful work and i hope that same blessing will continue and i will improve upon sir please uh, honorable chief justice my esteemed brothers all those in attendance for this uh, momentous occasion uh, normally we are confined in our uh, to such functions which are concerning the institution only so this invite was a welcome change more in the sense that it will only add to these such academic ad, uh, initiatives are really welcome and they add to the standards of all the stakeholders so the ultimate beneficiary is the justice dispensation system which serves society as a whole so i really congratulate alok ji for his endeavors and hope he continues his momentum of course keeping into consideration the guidance which has just been given by my esteemed brothers thank you 
I have heard that brevity is wit, sir has supplied that here. Now I will request uh, Honorable Mr. Justice uh, Mohit Kumar Shah, sir, to speak few words, please. Honorable the Chief Justice, Shri Sanjay Karol, uh, my brothers on the dais, all the uh, di distinguished guests who are present here, ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening and namaskar. It's really a, a joyous moment to be a part of this momentous occasion. And uh, not one, but five books have been launched today. So I can see Indian Penal Code, uh, Criminal Procedure Code, Indian Evidence Act, idea about Constitution, and one uh, in Hindi Indian Evidence Act. Uh, it is uh, well said that knowledge is treasure, and books are, you can say, mobile magic. Therefore, all these books will add to the knowledge, and knowledge adds to power. And uh, if you derive power through knowledge, the same can be used for dispensation of justice, as my brother Madhuresh Babu has just said. All these stakeholders will benefit out of it. Uh, I will not take much time, but uh, I would like to say a line said by Kofi Annan. He said, literacy is a bridge be between misery and hope. Now it's for you to take a call upon that. Thank you. Jai Hind. Now I request uh, Honorable Mr. Justice Partha Sarthi to say a few words to encourage us. And sir, your words will be really you now uh, a kind of uh, encouragement for us. So please speak few words. Honorable Chief Justice, Justice Sanjay Karol, my esteemed elder brothers on the dais, ladies and gentlemen. On this momentous occasion, so much has been said by my elder brothers. I would only like to say that a heartfelt congratulations and best wishes to Alok Ranjan and his entire team of Ambition Publications India Limited so that they continue to do the work of publishing different books as they have done today. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Some people believe in writing, not in speaking. I hope that you will speak on further occasion for me. And I'll be really encouraged by your words and I'll do something better. But thank you very much, sir, for coming here. I am highly obliged to all of you. Now I request Honorable Mr. Justice Satwak Barmaji, who has been my senior also, to speak few words to encourage his junior. Brothers on the dais, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday while I was in my office at my residence, all of a sudden Alok came. I didn't recognize him. Perhaps he must not have recognized me even. But then we talked and then we remembered the days when we were in the college and he said that he is releasing some bare acts which he has written and he is running Ambition, Pub um, Ambition Law Institute where students are studying. And many of the students, they have uh, cleared the examination and they are presently appointed as judicial officers in the state of Bihar even. I was in midst of preparation of a case. So I said, Ki, what have you written? Kya likhe ho? He said, CRPC, hum leke aaya hai. So I just asked him, Ki, what is section 54 of the CRPC? And he explained it so lucidly that it struck the case which I am going to decide on 15th. After talking to him and after going through that barrack, I found one judgment which was not in my mind. And I felt that this judgment will help me when I'll decide that issue. So books really matters and uh, especially to the students who are here, I find about uh, seven, eight, nine students are sitting there who are uh, going to be lawyers. So my advice to you all is that whenever you read bare acts, read it very carefully and in between the lines. When you will read it, you will find 
that once when the first time when you read you understood it in a particular way when you read it second time you'll understand it in a particular way when you read it the third time then you'll understand you oh this was the issue with we uh, with you were not able to comprehend initially when you read that and alok has done a very good uh, work by publishing berax and this will definitely help uh, the students who are preparing for law examinations or who intend to become lawyers law is a profession where you have to work hard you have to sweat it out and then after giving 10 12 years of your practice you start learning and this work of alok will definitely help the students and the in, uh, budding lawyers who intend to become a good lawyers and i really congratulate him that uh, whatever he has done he has done a good job and he should keep it and he should he should keep the good work which he is doing and uh, in future also he should come out with good barracks with commentaries also on that thank you this in mind and uh, we are right now working upon hindi barracks also because many of our students study in hindi uh, bihar up mp rajasthan himachal many states they they study in hindi only they do not have good command over english so we are writing barracks on that as well i on behalf of ambition law institute and ambition publications from the core of my heart and whatever intelligence i have using that intelligence i thank you especially honorable chief justice uh, justice mr sanjay karol saab honorable mr justice asutosh kumar honorable mr justice uh, rajiv ranjan prasad honorable mr justice uh, madhuresh prasad honorable mr justice uh, mohit kumar sa honorable mr justice partha sarthi honorable mr justice satpurit barma and honorable mr justice arun kumar jha for uh, sparing time their valuable time i know there are many engagements and they keep busy whole day in the court and it's very difficult for uh, your lot ships to call out time for uh, many programs but i am blessed enough and i sincerely thank you all of uh, lot ships to come here and grace the occasion this occasion will be a milestone in my life and milestone in the life of mission publications and ambition law institute we definitely will have a new kind of energy and encouragement from this place i belong to this state i belong to this city as well i have studied here i have many memories from here and of this place i have struggled a lot at this place i am not here to tell my story but i am a very ordinary person and i have struggled throughout my life due to many reasons one of them was financial and lack of direction as well i hope if i get direction from elder brothers like you people i will really do wonders at least in educational field i have interest in other field also but i don't know whether i will excel there or not but with your blessings i am sure i am sure that i will excel ambition publications will be able to do better i again thank you all of your lordships to come here and to grace the occasion that we are privileged that your lordships have come here and have given me so much time they are very valuable 75 minutes or 90 minutes with me so whole ambition law institute ambition publications from this place uh, kautilya hall uh, maria hotel patna now really thank you from the core of heart and i hope i'll again get opportunity to now get some kind of encouragement in this way from you of uh, you all please thank you very much thank you very much sir for all your patience uh, for waiting here all the judicial officers i would like to announce the name of the judicial officers who are present here and uh, uh the names of the judicial officer i kindly request to be here and also the journalist person who are also here i also request to be here sadaf mustafa 18th rank 
अतुल राणा रैंक ट्वेंटी सिक्स मनीष रंजन रैंक फोर्टी टू संचिता चौधरी रैंक सेवेंटी टू किरण कुमारी रैंक सेवेंटी सिक्स आलोक कुमार रैंक एटी थ्री निशांत रंजन निशांत रंजन सर इज हेयर वेलकम सर शुभम कुमार नाइनटी नाइन्थ रैंक हेलो मिस्टर नदीम अहमद मिस्टर आशुतोष शाम्बवी वत्स है भावेश चंद्र रैंक टू वन नाइन मिस्टर भावेश चंद्र मिस्टर अनुराग वर्मा मिस्टर अनुराग वर्मा इज हेयर है हेलो मिस्टर मिस मोनिका राज लक्ष्मी है एंड चित्रा कुंदन मिस चित्रा कुंदन इज नॉट हेयर ओ शी इज हेयर सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल द करेंट जुडिशियल ऑफिसर्स टू काइंडली टेक द फ्रंट सीट विल स्टार्ट एज सुन एज द गेस्ट अराइव एंड अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ आवर हेड मास्टर मिस्टर आलोक रंजन सर आई रिक्वेस्ट आर ऑनरेबल गेस्ट Uh, Mr. Vikas Vaibhav, current IPS officer, to please come over here and uh, join Mr. Our guest, Mr. Alok Kumar Ranjan. तो मैं शायद आप लोगों को उतना समय नहीं दे पाया इसके लिए मैं क्षमा प्रार्थी हूं लेकिन मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है कि आप अपने काम से आप अपने बुद्धि से आप अपने समझ से अपनी एक पहचान न्यायिक सेवा में बनाएंगे और आप लोग बहुत आगे जाएंगे 
देखिए मैं भी एक साधारण सा शिक्षक हूं मैं भी बहुत प्रयास करता हूं अच्छा पढ़ाने का अच्छा लिखने का अच्छा करने का तो धीरे धीरे प्रयास अभी मैं शायद बाहर में ऑनरेबल मिस्टर जस्टिस मधुरेश कुमार जी से बात कर रहा था तो शायद आप मेरे बारे में इतना जानते हैं नहीं जानते तो मैंने उनको एक बड़ी वो बात बताई क्योंकि भाई वरिष्ठ अधिकारी हैं तो हमारी गलतियां भी बहुत जल्दी पकड़ लेते हैं तो मैंने बोला मैं तो सर एक सरकारी स्कूल का छात्र रहा हूं और ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी का ग्रेजुएशन है हमारा तो आप मेरी शिक्षा दीक्षा इससे समझ सकते हैं मुझे बहुत समय वैसी शिक्षा नहीं मिली जो बहुत गुणवत्तापूर्ण होती है और बहुत उच्च स्तर की शिक्षा हो बट आई ट्राई टू मेंटेन द क्वालिटी इन इम्पार्टिंग एजुकेशन तो एक साधारण व्यक्ति भी यदि बहुत तन्मयता से काम करे तो बहुत अच्छा कर सकता है तो मैं यही आपसे भी आग्रह करूंगा कि आप कभी निराश मत होइएगा कभी हताश मत होइएगा कभी अपने आप को एक जब आप पद पे बैठते हैं तो आपकी भूमिका बहुत महत्वपूर्ण हो जाती है मैंने देखा है बहुत सारे जजेज को जो अपने पावर का बहुत अच्छा इस्तेमाल करते हैं और जस्टिस डिस्पेंसेशन में बहुत अच्छा काम करते हैं और मुझे देख के वो बड़ी खुशी होती है कि हमारे ऐसे भी न गौरवान्वित करने वाले जज साथी हैं या शिक्षार्थी हैं या विद्यार्थी हैं जो वास्तव में न्यायमूर्ति हैं तो आप अपने अभी इस बात पर मत जाइए कि आप अभी एक कनिष्ठ न्यायिक अधिकारी हैं आप इस बात को समझिए कि आपका कार्य बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है और यदि आप अच्छे से करेंगे तो आपको बहुत प्रसिद्धि मिलेगी बहुत नाम मिलेगा और बहुत आशीर्वाद भी मिलेगा जैसा आज हमको मिलता रहता है तो आप अच्छा काम करेंगे तो मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है पूरे समाज का आपको वरिष्ठ अधिकारियों का और सभी का स्नेह और प्रेम मिलेगा तो चलिए हम आपके उज्जवल भविष्य की कामना करते हैं और आपको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देते हैं फिर से और बहुत बहुत बधाइया कि आप यहाँ आए अन्य सभी अतिथियों का भी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद कि आप लोग आए सुधीर जी आए राजकुमार जी आए मेरे अन्य मित्र भी आए सभी लोग आए यहाँ जिन भी लोगों को मैं नहीं नाम ले पा रहा हूँ नहीं पहचान पा रहा हूँ मैं क्षमा चाहता हूँ मेरे अनुज भी आए आनंद जी और टुन्ना जी ये लोग भी हैं ये लोग भी आए श्वेता भी आई सभी लोग आए मोनिका भी आई सभी लोग आए बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद कैमरा मैन भी आए चैनल वाले भी आए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपका अनूप जी विशेष करके आए बिहान जी विशेष करके आए तो आप लोग का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मैं शुक्रगुजार हूं आगे भी मैं प्रयास करूंगा आपसे थोड़ी सी सहारे और थोड़े से उत्साह वर्धन की आवश्यकता होगी यही प्रार्थना अमरिंद्र जी भी आए मैंने नीरज जी का नाम पहले ही लिया था आप भी आए श्री एस के सिंह जी भी आए बहुत अच्छा लगा बहुत अच्छा लगा सभी लोग आए सभी लोगों का बहुत बहुत आशीर्वाद और स्नेह मुझे मिला इसके लिए आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद अब मैं आपसे आग्रह करूंगा कि आप सभी लोग भोजन करके यहां से जाइएगा बिना भोजन किए नहीं जाइएगा यही सच्चा आशीर्वाद होगा आपका मेरे लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद जय हिंद